Well, gang, it seems like we got another mystery at our hands. Another disaster going on in gaming tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot believe it. Leave GTA 6 alone. Leave GTA 6 alone. Like the video if you're like, hey, leave GTA 6 alone from the walk stuff. Because once again, there's a whole lot of drama in gaming going around about GTA 6 potentially being real. Now, I don't know about that. We're going to check this one out. And I want to show you guys this video as well. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. I'm trying to see some. Then if you think there are two genders, like the video. If you think there are 5,000, dislike the video. I don't want to see like where you guys at. Shout out to the homie Andy Pence. Let's see what's up. As Roland. I combed over every detail of the GTA 6 trailer, I noticed they have no problem stereotyping and poking fun at black people. They have no problem stereotyping and poking fun at white people. But did you notice a suspicious absence of them making fun of the LG HDTV community? Rockstar, come on. Women's sports with a dude with a giant schlong. Beta cuck no. men who are both feminists yet also can't define what a woman is. Misgendering people. These people are walking jokes, and these jokes write themselves. Now, let oh, me start out by saying GTA 5 is one of the greatest video games of all time. I absolutely adore it. We also don't really know anything at all about GTA 6 outside of the trailer. But I have watched closely where Rockstar is headed based on their hiring. I've okay. watched closely things they've been removing from games. I've mm. watched Dan Hauser's comments closely. Rockstar once said... Hey, hey, hey. Rockstar once said it was thankful GTA 6 wouldn't release during a Trump presidency. Whoa. Listen, man, I'm in Canada right now. But uh, this is this is crazy, and this was said, I believe, all the way back in 2018, and this was reposted in, in 2024, just recently, right? Maybe you're watching this video in 2050. Let me know if GTA 6 came out during Trump's presidency or not, because Donald Trump actually won presidency, president of the United States, president of the world, essentially, right? Yeah, right. It, it is it is crazy. Now these seconds gotta release the game during that, but the fact here is that. They said this, it is uh, a little bit suspect, right? We're, we're gonna we're gonna get down to it, but... It's closely, and I honestly don't think Rockstar has the balls to make a controversial game in 2025. I think GTA 6 is going to be safe, sanitized, and politically correct when you compare it to past GTA games. And I want to... To be fair, though, uh, this is something that I do expect it as well. By the way, this is... Uh... This is an AI gameplay. This is an AI enhance of the original. You, you remember, like, all the way back in September of 2022, GTA 6 ended up getting leaked out, right? Lucia Bruna got leaked out. And, and this is that gameplay, but with AI modification. It's not the original leak, but it's the original. Uh, th this is AI done, enhance, enhancement done on the original GTA 6 gameplay leak. So, yeah, right? So, the, I just wanted to let you know straight away uh the, but but i do believe that gta 6 is gonna be one of the best game it has the potential of being that i'm believing that based off based off of just knowing rockstar's track record now for sure how many times we have seen games being wrecked games being done dirty fans being done dirty million times right so it can happen with gta 6 too I hope not though. That's that's the keyword, man. I, I'm on my I'm on my knees right now. No Diddy, no Diddy. Let me go on my knees right Bruh. now. Hopefully GTA 6 is gonna be good. But guys, let's be real. Even though I'm a fan, I'm a big fan of Rockstar games. I guess a lot of you, many of you watching, are as well. Nothing wrong with that. But uh, but here's the thing though. I even though I'm a fan of this, I believe that GTA 6 is gonna be woke as well. Uh, to certain to certain degree to what degree i don't know i believe it's gonna be to some degree for example the woke stuff exists in real life gta always has been a parody of real life it always has been a parody right so i do believe that it's gonna be woke in that aspect and if that's the case then I, it's i in a way now some of you will disagree and that's perfectly fine though but the main thing that most people are concerned about is this game gonna be pushing agenda like other games we have seen like you know assassin's creed uh shadows of the bbc they they done yasuke absolutely dirty just because he was black they were like nah he gay they always do that to black people they always do that man why you guys cannot make a straight normal normal black person normal black human man yeah like they're human as well just like me just like you guys like all of us are human man why you guys gotta do this now if yasuke the real life person was gay then makes sense right it's like saying franklin you know in gta 5 was gay when there was no need to if it makes sense from the story perspective then that's different but these suckers are always doing that crap pushing agendas now if it turns out gta 6 is pushing agendas then yes there's gonna be a whole lot of backlash but i of course guys let's be realistic here we're talking gta 6 it's gonna still sell no matter what maybe you're not gonna buy it but you guys gotta understand that the world does not revolve around me nor you right 
Just facts there, man. Facts over feelings. Okay, let's uh, let's continue. Spend the rest of this video explaining why I think that. But first, check out this dope game. Why are you gay? You be all going to burn. Okay, so you got an ad. <laughs> and it's bad because Grand Theft Auto has always been a game that makes fun of everybody. Just like South Park, GTA skewers every group, and it's great. The moment you say that there is a special group that cannot be made fun of, you no longer have a GTA game. You have a pussy crybaby game. <laughs> I also think Rockstar are incredibly smart and incredibly careful about everything they do, so nothing in this trailer was on accident. Do you remember the lawyer Jack Thompson who tried to sue Rockstar in the 2000s for violence in their games? Sam Hauser put him in GTA 4 as a character you could kill. The Housers are vindictive as hell and they remember everything. Let me try to put this a different way. In 2004, oh. GTA was making fun of Karens. In 2024, GTA has become the Karen. When San Andreas came out in 04, Man. conservative Karens tried to get the game banned because of things like the hot coffee mod that let you have sex with your girlfriend. Yeah. Well, who are the Karens of today? Is it not the people putting pronouns in their bios? Mm. Is it not the purple hairs using words like homophobic and transphobic and yeah. ableist? Did we f was that like Chris Tyson from uh, Mr. Beast? Like this looks like Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast. Probably not, but you forget that GTA 4 is one of the most homophobic games of all time, and it's hilarious. Yeah. Rockstar should be having an absolute <laughs> field day with the purple hairs of today, and yet, judging from this trailer, it seems they're gonna pussy out. All right, so the big mm. question is why? Why did Rockstar go woke? I shouldn't need to remind you of how offensive the GTA games have always been ever since 1997, but here's a reminder. Hey, we're all equal, man. Hey, we're What's up? Can a low come up in your crib? Man, f you. I see you at work. Oh, nigga, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Maybe if you got rid of that mm. old yee yee ass haircut you got, you get some bitches <laughs> on your dick. The GTA games have <laughs> characters. They have racist characters. Man, GTA 5, uh, honestly, the chemistry between Franklin and Lamar, everybody loved it. You know, everybody loved it. Did anyone say DEI or this and that? Absolutely not. Why? Because the game is amazing. The story is great. It, Lamar, Franklin chemistry beautifully done beautifully done everybody love it like what uh, yeah people love the lamar's character i i'm one of them too franklin oh absolutely uh michael trevor just amazing iconic iconic cast iconic characters people love it nico balik in gta4 san andrea cj suckers love it suckers love it right yeah there's a reason for it because these suckers made games for gamers and they made just raw they, 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 they made games for gamers. They didn't care about pushing agendas. They didn't care about what people would say. They just made the games for gamers. You love it or you hate it. Simple as that. And many love it. If you're a real gamer, you love these games, right? Uh, but, but now, of course, everybody is calling out the DEI and all that. There's a reason for it because it's not real. It's not organic. Feudal Japan, for example, is the setting of Assassin's Creed, Shadows of the BBC, and the stuff that they've done to Yasuke, of not only that they have uh, included him when he doesn't need to be because it's a game set in Feudal Japan, but okay, they have him in the game, but what these seconds have done is that just because he black, they were like, let's make him gay. Too. There's always some sort of like weird stuff they like to do with black people. They, they can never put on they, they, they never view black people as humans they can never make a straight normal black human as a character in video games just ask yourself why that's okay bro like what the hell they always do that uh to uh, uh to them brown people like me don't even exist as well right so they always done they always do that but gta GTA is different, right? GTA always have made fun of uh, the stereotypes. GTA has always been like the stereotypes galore, okay? It always has been like uh, just 10x. They always 10x the fun factor, 10x the meme factor or offensive factor. Yeah, that was the word that I was looking for. They always do that. Now, here's the thing though. I'm also seeing people say just because it has a female character, uh, just because of Lucia, this game is going to be woke. Well, guys, listen, females do exist in real life. <laughs> And just because they have a female character, that does not mean it's gonna be woke. Hear me out, okay? I think the game can be done beautifully. I think the chemistry could be amazing in this game. But of course, time will tell us for sure. Now, I am with you if it turns out that Jason is an effeminate man. They, if they feminine, or if we have the feminization of Jason in the game, and they're and Lucia is manhandling him. Jason is crying all the time. He's like, no man, but I cannot do it. I cannot do it. Lucia, you go ahead. You go ahead. I am not strong. I am not independent today. If it turns out this way, then yes. Then, oh, absolutely, it will be woke. But if it turns out that Lucia is a strong, 
feminine character, and if it turns out Jason is a strong masculine character, done, job well done, job well done, and if the story is good, gameplay good, that's what that's what it's all about, man. Story, gameplay, characters, a progression system, and then online also have progression and all that. Yeah, that's what we want. That's what we want, right? We don't want none of that crap, bruh. Like, what the hell? Like, leave the politics alone, man. Just make a good game. And yeah, GTA has always been the DNA of GTA has always been, you know, upping the offensive factor. Do that. That's GTA for you. That is that's always has been GTA. Do not go the route of Saints Row. Don't go the route of Saints Row. Like the video if you agree. Like the video if you just want a good game, man. Simple, simple. All right, let's continue. They have homophobic characters, and these games are hilarious and fun. Do you know why? This is something modern devs don't seem to understand. You don't have to agree with everything every character says in a game. Exactly. Do you know exactly. why Dragon Age: The Veilguard is so miserably boring? Because there's no edge. There's no disagreement. Nobody is racist, nobody is weird, nobody disagrees with anybody. Remember that quote unquote homophobic moment from GTA 4 where Nico has to go on a date with a dude and everybody is roasting him and he's like, ugh, this is gross. Yeah, a normal dude would say that because being gay is gross. Remember the hot coffee mod from GTA San Andreas? Yeah, it was great. Remember Lamar from GTA 5? Yeah. I cracked up at everything he would say because I went to high school with dudes like this. Modern yeah, games it, oh, throw bro, fake care. Bro. <laughs> uh, one of my, uh, all-time best friend he's a Haitian IT I went of course I'm in Montreal so we went to a friend's school right and I learned a lot of stuff from him for example get mama get mama get mama you know that's like the main word that suckers would throw in classes and I would because of them I would also be throwing those words like get mama get mama man High school days, man, primary school days were lit, uh, uh, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. And I'm, I'm assuming, like, if you got, let me know how old are you guys in the comments. Let me know, like, if you had crazy moments in classes or not with your friends and, y you know what I mean, with your uh, classmates. And because I'm assuming 30 years ago, if you're in, let, let's just say if you're 40 years old right now or 50, I'm 28, by the way, pushing 30 big time, man. Sadly, sadly, guys, sadly. I'm one of, I, I, I'm getting really old out here, guys. I'm getting really old out here. But listen, man. It was uh, 10, 15 years ago, I had like really good times and also bad times in classes. But I'm assuming like 30 years ago, 40 years ago, completely would be a completely different scenario. Just like how uh, right now it's a completely different scenario in classes and school that I hear all the time, especially in the North America as a whole, right? Like they're teaching kids some weird stuff nowadays, right? Like it's crazy. Like a uh, uh, personal story, got a homie of mine. He got a younger sister, and uh, he was telling me the younger sister at one point was bringing up the conversation of she wanna become a dude, and that's not normal because uh, because back in the days no kid would ever say that. Why is that the case? Because they're teaching kids crap like that in classes and schools when they are eight years old, ten years old, twelve years old. So. I mean, it's chalked, it's over, and this crap is only happening in North America for the most part, and in Europe as well. Uh, yeah, man, it, so, it gotta stop, man. Come on, let the kids be kids, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, damn, bro, what, what are we doing here, bro? Characters into games that they wish existed? GTA 5 had people who felt real in the game. Remember the torture scene with Trevor in GTA 5, how you had to torture that Middle Eastern guy? I get that they were trying to make damn. a political statement here, but the game didn't tell you how to feel about it. The game just put you into that moment. It was a yeah, pretty damn. brilliant piece of gameplay. Even in 2013, GTA had a very edgy scene where you could hire a commit acts with her and then kill her afterwards. Pretty dark stuff. Back in 2013, woke reviewers definitely were not happy with GTA 5. Mm. This review is from a man who chopped his dick off and now identifies as a Bro. woman named Caroline Pettit. He said Bro. this, Women in the game are mostly treated and or played as strippers, prostitutes, long-suffering wives, humorless girlfriends, and goofy new age feminists. Wrong. And felt that the satirical representation of misogyny legitimizes it. Wrong. Dave Cook of VG247 reinforced the sentiment that the female characters were constructed on stereotypes in an editorial. They're either there to be rescued, shouted at, fucked, to be seen fucking, put up with, killed, yeah! heard prattling away like dullards on their mobile phones, or shopping. But all this reveals is that these reviewers of GTA 5 don't understand the GTA universe at all. GTA isn't meant to be real life. Exactly. It's satire. It's satire, satire. of a... It's satire, it's a parody, and it, they always 10x the offensive factor, and that's why the game is fun. Uh, that's why the game is interesting. They always do that. Uh, the, the highest that they're doing right in the game bro it's not real it's video game bro it's gaming it's a gta damn it it needs to be like that bro what the hell what the hell is wrong man like 
Yeah, I, I'm really hoping GTS 6 is not watered down. Although, guys, I uh, based off of the current climate, I do believe it's going to be a little bit watered down. Sadly, to what degree? I couldn't tell you. Nobody knows, right? To what degree? I guess the only people would know is the, the people, the devs working on the game, right? But even them, like, I don't think everybody would know everything, right? Because they got departments, separate teams, working on separate, uh, separate stuff. Story people are different. Graphics, textures, uh, people that put textures on games are different, right? Like, they have, like, different department, and GTA 6 is such a massive game that everybody's being policed in, in, st in the studio, so the gameplay, the game in the info about the game doesn't get leaked out just like how it got leaked out back in september of 2022 with the lucia burn and all that and now we're seeing ai enhancement of the gameplay man what the, what the hell man but i i do believe it's gonna be a little bit watered down the reason i'm saying this is because gta 5 had offensive jokes in it which was which were uh, good some would say bad but hey that's your opinion that's your opinion you can agree and disagree that's completely all right but here's the thing they had offensive jokes and they took them out with an update i believe when gta trilogy the defective edition kid when when that came out now gta trilogy ended up getting a brand new update and they made it definitive definitive and they made it they made it lots better but when that game first came out i believe in 2021 around the same time a little bit before correct me if i'm wrong but uh, but yes i heard this and uh, it is true it was reported online too that gta 5 a lot of the offensive jokes around the lg tv they they had it in the game but they removed it later on because it was too offensive so just hearing that finding that out just listening to you know just internalizing that i i think the game is gonna be watered down i'm talking about gta 6 to what degree time will tell us i, I hope it's not super watered down but guys in this day and age we're living in different times i, I and i'm sorry to say this and I, I and i disagree with this wholeheartedly i think uh, entertainment uh art should not be watered down i absolutely agree with that do not water down but guys we're in 2025 sad reality it's gonna be watered down it, it is gonna be that's just the climate i'm sorry like i i also disagree with this i don't want it watered down but you guys know it's uh it's a goddamn truth man it's a goddamn truth and we're talking about a triple a title this is what's gonna be the biggest game on the planet this is gonna be the biggest game on the planet it's gonna be watered down to what degree i don't know man we'll see time will tell us american culture it presents the most comical versions of people because those versions of people are the most entertaining and fun to play as so it should go without saying that gta has always been offensive it's always been incredibly yeah, edgy yeah. and it's also one of the best-selling video games of all time Facts. for all of these reasons Facts. so let's move to the modern day Let's talk about all of the ways that post-2020 Rockstar went gay and woke and had to sanitize and fix things from GTA 5. In 2020, after the George Floyd riots and all of the BLM oh, yeah. stuff, Rockstar removed the Cops and Crooks game mode from GTA Online, deeming that it was offensive. But did they ever think maybe there were some black people playing the game that wanted to kill cops too and were enjoying Yo, it? Hey, of course not. Bro. Somebody got offended. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, tranquilo papi. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, hey, time out, time out. Pump the brakes. Chill. Tranquilo, tranquilo, papi. Nah, I'll guess, I'll guess, I'll guess. So let's shut the whole thing down. In 2021... Okay, I was not aware of that. Holy crap. Oh my goodness, what the hell? Of course not. Somebody got offended, so let's shut the whole thing down. Damn. In 2021, Rockstar removed all rebel flags from the game and replaced them with American flags because, uh-oh, somebody got their feelings hurt. In 2022, Rockstar edited out transphobic con Yeah, this is the part that I was talking about. So this uh, was reported in April 18, 2022. So either it happened on that day or close to it or before. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. This is what I was referring to. But I was not aware of the Cops and Robbers DLC being removed because of the George Floyd thing. That is crazy. So again, guys, the point remains where like i said we're in a different climate right now we're in 2025 2026 let me know when you're watching this video uh yeah different timeline guys different different climate it'd be what it'd be bro content from gta 5. basically there was this club called the cockatoo club in gta 5. whenever you go over there it's just a bunch of ugly looking dudes dressed up trying to look like women it's hilarious they're all really ugly and clearly not women 
Well, they removed all the drag queens from the game and the club itself because somebody deemed it offensive. Mm. But hey, I thought you guys wanted representation. What's up? Yeah. And let's yeah. be honest, they probably did this because players were going over there to kill the trans people too much. Damn. I mean, come on. Another thing removed from GTA Online was this action figure called Captain Space Toy that had interchangeable body parts. Clearly, a f the only captain that I know is the Captain BBC. <laughs> salute to Captain BBC, man. I always salute to Captain BBC, man. Funny joke, making fun of trans people. They turned it into something else. In 2024, one of the most annoying retcons by Rockstar is how they killed my boy Yusuf Amir from GTA 4. Yusuf was this unhinged Middle Eastern dude, but he would just go around saying the N word constantly. We get an A rap money. Come on, man. We got money. It's hilarious because the dude has no idea what it means, yeah. and so he just keeps saying it. And the joke is how offensive it is, so it's comedy gold. Well, of course, Yusuf made a return in GTA Online yeah. in 2024, and Man. they completely changed his character. Gone was his offensive and problematic past. Yusuf is a sanitized pussy now with his balls in a doggy bag, just like everybody else who works at Rockstar in 2024. Just to sum all this up, <laughs> I found this awesome clip of this dude, Jamie King. Jamie King founded Rockstar in 1997 with Sam, mm. Dan, and Terry Donovan. And in 2022, he had this to say about the direction that he sees GTA 6 going. Damn, no, nah, I wouldn't man. be surprised if the tone starts changing and if it's Damn. maybe not quite as edgy or quite as funny or... I just think that maybe there's more opportunity for them to do something cheesy because they never do. And maybe not, right? I happen to jump over to Rock. Damn, holy crap. That is the Rockstar founder for you. If he is saying that, that is big, folks. Like, forget about, like, this video. Forget about what I have to say. Forget about your opinion for a second. Forget about what uh, people and you guys are dropping in the comments. This is the guy. And if he's saying that... He knows uh, something. He's aware of what's going on, right? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, to what degree the game is going to be watered down, only time will tell us. I really hope it's not super watered down, though, man. That that would be sad, because, like, this is a game that I've been looking forward to, man. This is the main game, like, majority of the people are excited for uh, right now, because every other game, for the most part, not all of them, but majority of the games coming out, AAA games that are coming out, are have been let downs, massive let downs, man. Rockstar's LinkedIn page and saw a job description for a graphic designer they were hiring. It reads, become part of a team working on some of the most rewarding large-scale creative projects to be found in any entertainment medium all within an inclusive, highly motivated environment. RIP. Yeah, guys, uh, GTA is cooked. When you have a game that can't make jokes anymore, well, I don't really consider it a GTA game anymore either. Coming to the end here, I want to read what Jason Schreier, a liberal cuck, said about the Rockstar right. company culture in 2022. His article headline reads, Rockstar Games cleaned up its frat boy culture and Grand Theft Auto too. With a new tone at Rockstar Games and a change in creative direction, Grand Theft Auto 6 will probably feel very different from its predecessor. Yeah, guys, uh, GTA 6 is cooked. It's it's done. I, I don't know what more proof we need. Yeah. The article goes on, The company removed transphobic jokes from the most recent console release of GTA 5 and significantly narrowed its gender pay gap. Oh. Rockstar's next game, Grand Theft Auto oh. 6, will include a playable female protagonist for the first time. Uh, yeah, and that's not woke to me personally, and that, that's not the real woke, guys. But if it turns out Jason is like a feminine man, always crying, and always like, uh, hey man, Lucia, you go manhandle, you know, you go be strong, independent, yeah, you right. You know, then of course, of course. But other than that, damn. Holy. According to people familiar with the game, the woman, who is Latina, will be one of a pair of leading characters in a story influenced by the bank robbers, Bonnie and Clyde, the people yeah. said. Developers are also being conscious not to, quote, punch down by making jokes about marginalized groups. The people said, in contrast to previous games. So whether you like GTA or not, what I think is undeniable at this point is that Rockstar is trying to detach itself from its, quote, unquote, problematic past. Yeah. And yet, yeah, real yeah, yeah. fans like us, fans who have played the GTA games for years, think this is a shame. GTA has always been offensive. It's always, always been about been, really yeah. smart and biting satire. Mm. GTA has always believed its audience is smart enough to see through the satire. Facts. I facts, wish facts. game developers understood that just because a character says something in a game, I don't have to agree with them. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You don't have to agree. Even uh, you're watching this video and there's something that you don't agree with that you have the absolute right to disagree, right? That That's the thing, though, man. It's so crazy. Crazy concept. You can choose to disagree. Uh, and you can talk about why you disagree, or you don't even have to say that. If you agree, you're cool. If you disagree, cool too. Guys, uh, we recently had gameplay leaks for GTA 6, teaser 2 for trailer 2. Whole lot of crap going down about GTA 6. Check out this video on the screen. Let me know how you feel about it, uh, how you feel about that too. And I'll see you there right now.